Look at my hard-working husband working half a day. Just kidding. <laughs> I know you weren't. I also don't want to be wearing pants right now, but it's freezing. It's pretty chilly. It's kind of a bad Northwest day out there. Yeah. I am editing as usual. I actually like spend less time editing. I mean, I get the videos done, but um, it's, it, this is like even like strange for myself to hear it out loud. But like, I mean, I love editing. I love like doing these videos and stuff, but that's usually like in, in the past, like AKA like six months ago, this is what I wanted to be doing more than like anything else, aside from maybe shopping. <laughs> I like, I like to edit. I like to work through the videos. I like like every part of it I like. Um, and like I would do my chores, I would do a lot, put a load of laundry in, I'm like, okay, now I can edit. Or I'd get bills paid, okay, now I can edit. It was like a treat for me to like get time to do that. Um, and I still enjoy doing it, but now it's been replaced by walking. Like I wake up in the morning and I'm like, okay, let's get dressed and go walking. And today it was raining. I'm like, I, can't. I was going to edit and get on my treadmill this morning. It's down there. I haven't pulled it out for a long time. Um, I did it this morning. Um, anyway, well, let me just finish this thought process. Um, I, that's fun. That's fun to think that like working out for me is like the thing that I want to do first or the most during my day. And, uh, it's a good thing, obviously. Um, Today is rainy gross. It's gonna rain all day long, today and tomorrow, which is a good thing for not having cheer practice today and tomorrow. The rain is working well with our schedule so far. We have like one-ish more weeks um, of outdoor practice for Ashley um, before we move to the schools. They're not open yet for us to go and practice in um, until school officially starts. And so um, I think the rain is gonna hold out because we just have rain today and tomorrow. And then we go back to 80s. Like I told you, as soon as the kids are going to go back to school, it's going to be back in the 80s. <laughs> Happens every single time. So we are going to get, um, this video is done. We are going to get warmer weather and I'll get back to walking outside, which I'm very excited about. Um, but today I just needed, I decided not to go walk on my treadmill this morning because my body, um, what day is this video? Oh, I did that the wrong date. Why did I do that with that date? That's strange. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> anyway, I did the wrong date on a video. Anyway, um, I messed up and took, didn't take some of my meds last night, so, or the night before or something, so I took them during the day yesterday and then I had to take them again last night. So it was kind of like a double dose in one one day, like one 12 hour period, but I needed to get back on schedule with them. And man, it took a toll, <laughs> a toll on my body from say four, well midnight till 10.30 this morning, to be honest. And I just did not feel well. And so I stayed in bed until 10.30. Um, I was awake um, for a lot of that this morning. I think I woke up at like, 7.30 when Jason got up to go to work. By the way, the moaning and whatever is her I behind me. Home. Dad's changing. Yeah, um, she's gonna go run errands with us. But I, yeah, I'm like, I might, it's raining outside. I can't go out for the walk outside. I will get used to like working on the treadmill. I actually was thinking like, okay, maybe I go get a membership at the community center. Cause I can only like walk there when she is at practice. Otherwise I'd pay for a membership, which is super cheap. But do I really want to go back to walking, I think it's 11 laps to get a mile. 11 laps compared to my two laps That's at the park. That's not really good scenery. No, it's not. It's so hard to like- Watching people like work out. Come back inside. So it's I'd like rather like be me. on my treadmill here at home and watch a movie on the, you know, my big computer here. But we're not there yet. We only have two days of rain. I, I'm letting my body take a break. Um, I did get my miles in yesterday, I but get from the, the ice pack. Um, I oh, I thought you figured out the ice packs. Yeah, but I need an actual like 
Um, but anyway, we'll talk about her, what she's talking about in a second here. So I'm letting my body take a break. I'm not gonna get my steps in today um, in terms of like four miles by any means, but we are gonna go run errands, so stay vertical, but also just enjoy the rainy day. Um, this one here, we think, um, has very beginning stages of plantar fasciitis. In both feet. In both of her heels, and luckily, you know, Jason is very aware of that. He's not a doctor, but he's been doing this for a very long time with our store. Um, and so she is icing here. Show me your heel again. It's kind She's of She's icing it. I'm trying to get the swelling down. It's been yeah. so, like, yeah. I can tell since Japan, like, the shoes have been, like, crushing my feet. And I've realized it's more swollen and I haven't iced it. But now it's kind of going down. Like, yeah. I feel it. She's been down. icing it since last night. Um, he, Jason brought her home a few more pairs of shoes to try and we just realized it's not the shoes. The shoes are per totally fine. Like she has new ones that she's been wearing, but um, she had cheer practice wearing cheer stunting shoes um, for the first time in a couple months and that just takes a toll on your feet and um, without any arch support in those shoes. They're so bad. <laughs> They're so oh, flat wow, so and bad. like bendable. Um, so she's got sore feet, but there's no point in getting, he brought home all those boxes right there. No, some of them aren't. Right. No, they're not yours? One of them isn't. One of them? Oh, okay. But he brought home a bunch of them to, for her to try last night and we just realized it's not the shoes. We just need to get you her feet feeling bad. I did because I didn't, I wanted him to look at your feet and like look at what was sore. All that to say, we're resting her feet this weekend. Letting her take a break. Oh, did Abby finish? Yeah. She was paying for her online classes for college classes for her to take while she, in high oh, well, that was bright. Take for her to take in high school. But literally like, she's taking two or three classes at the college. Um, I think she just put a $100 on my card for all three classes. It is so much cheaper to pay for college classes yeah, yeah, yeah. when you're doing it through high that. school. It is so cheap. So I'm like, I'll pay a hundred bucks. Cause that, that's the deal is that when they're in school, when they're in high school, um, we pay for the school. Like we're paying for those credits. As soon as she's out of high school. I cost one book for Caleb. I know, like, yeah. yeah. So it's ridiculous. Um, the cost difference. The and, um, but anyway. What? So, we are gonna go run no, some errands. Oh, I have half a bagel. Do you want that? Oh, do you want to tell them what happened? What? Or no? The crown, the crown popped, popped off. Out. As I was flossing, doing what you trying should to do what you're supposed to do, and you just get screwed. <laughs> so his crown so, came off. Our dentist isn't in the office today, so he has an emergency appointment Monday morning. But today's Friday. I'm so you gotta have, some, so there's some pro progresso soup. Out in the garage. You could just eat that. You don't have to chew it. What if I make waffles? No, I'm not waiting for you to make waffles. No. Just, just you have some in the freezer. No, I ate them. We're not, we're not taking the time to make waffles. All right, making a list of all the things that we need to do for the day, including mailing this package for Kaylee. We've just been, she's like, oh, can, I, can you send me this? Can you send me that? So I've got like a whole bunch Watch of stuff in here, including a snack for her and Jacob, just for fun. Um, Watch your hands. I am. But the box is too tall. So he's gonna pack that down. I'm gonna go out to my car and load up my donations. They're all in this box and then out in the garage. my ears. Oh, is it not going in? She has to take earrings out for cheer, so then. It's closed, the back no, is closed. No, I'll get it to poke through. Wearing my Maui shirt for the second time. <laughs> Ugh, it's cold. But I've got the car all packed up. All this stuff in here. And then I had to put two of the clothing bags back here. Keeps turning on my music every time I open that door. All right, let's see if it'll shut. I like that sound. All right, I also have the things that I bought for my car. My little tweezer kit and my little razor blade face mustache trimmer. 
Um, I had to put all of the cheer bags down in the bottom compartment of my car, of the trunk area or whatever, um, so that everything would fit, fit, but I don't want to take them out of the car because I don't want to like forget to put them back in for practice next week. So I think, oh, see, he's, Jason's still, maybe I can declutter more. I know there's more stuff in this bucket right here. Do I take a little bit of time right now? Cause I am doing a run. Hmm. I don't have anything to put them in. That's the only problem. I don't want to donate that bucket, but I guarantee there's things in there that I'm done with. I don't have a box. Let me see what's in there. Hang on. Yeah, I do want to get rid of this stuff. One of the signs I made and then realized I couldn't ever put it on my wall. This one right here has my actual coordinates on it for my house. And I realized I could never display that and I didn't want to accidentally display it in a video. So I've never had that on the wall since starting my channel. And then I just have all these picture frames that I want to donate, but I haven't taken the time to take out the pictures. So I should probably just do that really quick so I can get rid of all these picture frames because I literally don't need these. If I had it in me, I would go through all these signs right here as well. But that's a project for another day and I don't have room in my trunk. Oh, geez. I don't have room in my trunk for that. Not the the what do you call these? Not the crutches, but I have board signs all down in here that I need to just declutter. One bucket down. I'm going to look through that one here in a sec. We'll show you these pictures in just a minute, but I took all those frames apart, put them in here. Some of them went in here. They're just broken. I'm actually just wondering if I should use that bucket, put it on the seat. I think I might because I don't want that bucket. I'm weird. You notice like all the buckets are kind of the same. Christmas is all in purple. These ones are blue. I don't know. Maybe I can switch. I don't know. But I don't think I need this bucket. I've got two extras right here. I need to replace the paper inside actually. Let's grab a ream of that to go inside. Yep, that whole bucket is going to go. Um, this is the only one that I'm going to keep picture of Jason's mom um, and Kaylee that was the one time she held her really really good and the only time she held her really good there were other times we laid her on his mom's lap um, but she wasn't really holding her this is the last stages of his mom's life so my grandma gives the best hugs and I'm thinking that needs to come inside okay I loaded that bucket in here put it on a blanket and slid it across all right, this isn't the cutest place to look at these pictures, but they are, we'll go inside, we'll go inside. We'll look at these with whoever is inside. All right, this is a family photo from a few years ago when Ashley was so little. Well, those kids are adorable. Um, oh, look at all those little munchkins. I know, look so cute. Their little cheeks, cute kids. Look at you. You're so you cute. In a box in the garage. And then this is her baptism photos. Oh. These were taken really fun. We still have that in there. Yeah. A fun um, photo session with Grandpa. This is the other one. Um, we displayed them at her fair, uh, baptism. What am I doing with my hands? I don't know. I'm just holding them. Yeah. But this okay. photo session was just maybe a week or two before my mom passed away. So while we were going to... Actually, it was probably within yeah, a week. Should, yeah. Because we made the lay crown... For her to wear for her baptism and then my mom passed away so we like ended up day before. yeah we ended up doing the funeral or the baptism in later the, that summer utah. yeah in utah yep yep we still have it because i just i wanted to show it to my mom after i made it and she had i had sent her photos of it and she had seen the photos from her photo session with grandpa jason's dad and she wanted to see this on Ashley. So I have kept this hanging ever since. And I don't really want shoelaces on it and belts. So take the belt off. I just, it's just, I don't, I'm not particular about keeping a lot of things. But, but this, this yeah. was pretty special for me. And you made that. And I made it. And it dried pretty good. 
Then these photos are of Abby's baptism. For some reason, <laughs> those are the ones that I've got. Um, took these down to the lake. She's so oh. cute. And this is down on the Oregon coast. Gotta get it down to blurry. There it is. This is Kaylee, Abby, and Chelsea. Mm -hmm. And is that right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and we found out we were pregnant with Ashley at this beach. Did you know that? No. That's why I've hung on oh, to this was, photo. Uh, was that with... Because the um, day before we took this photo... Was that with, like... We got a pregnancy test. Uh huh. Yeah. We got a uh, pregnancy test from the gas station down the street from the beach, because I realized in a house of all of my siblings, all of their children, my parents, <laughs> that I was most likely pregnant with how I was feeling, and uh, we had to go secretly go and buy a pregnancy test, and sure enough, it was positive with her. So kind of a fun memory to have that photo from that trip. Now I'm hot. I have our car lo loaded up, so we have to do donation drop off before we do anything else. No, you don't. Well, I as can't. Long as it stays in your car, you I, don't have to. Like, no, I. No, we need to do it. Uh, so we're, we're gonna get going. Okay, we got. Show them what we got, Ash. They have palms here. There's pink palms. I've never seen them these here. Are, no, these are ours. Although that's these the actual the brand. <laughs> yeah, this is the ones we use. But here, here, show me this. Oh. oh. All right, we couldn't show this. I don't know. We just got kind of. I didn't want you to go. All right, fine, fine. We got a little canopy with sidewalls, two sidewalls, to put up for the chicken coop area. A little bougie for a chicken. Oh. All right. Are you filming it? I am. I didn't know he was going to do it now. Can we just put the canopy up? Here, come help me, girls. Okay, got the cover. Okay. She's out here, right? She's over here. Got it? We're not doing this for you, my friend. We're doing it for Chelsea. I know. That's really morbid that she's playing with the chicken toy. With its she head off. It. Oh my gosh, Chelsea. Alright. We're gonna set it up over here. Well, it's more over here, Jace. No, it's not. Pull it up. I how. Yeah, I got it. Here, oh. Ashley, there you go. What? I think this is going to work well. All right, well, unfortunately, it doesn't fit. We need the ones that have, well, I don't even know if the straight-legged one will work. Um, someone is hungry because he can't eat very much these days, or today, because of his tooth. So we'll figure it out another day. <laughs> All right, not gonna lie. <laughs> not that I don't like hanging out with my friends, if you're watching this. I do like to hang out with you guys. We just got very lazy here at home and it's cold and rainy and you can hear the rain, you know, just pitter patter and anyway, the couch and the blanket were very comfy for <laughs> a couple hours. Jason fell asleep. Um, but we are going to go hang out with our friends. Actually, I should probably bring some games. I don't, we're going to a, our other friend's house. They don't normally host. We'll do cover your assets. We have not played cards all summer. Skull King. What else we got? Nah, not that one. That's about good. We'll just do these two, our basics. We haven't played cards all summer, but it's cold, rainy, yucky night, and none of us felt like going out. So... Um, we're gonna do this tonight. Well, if we have a great time and anything drastic happens, we'll let you know. Otherwise, um, we're gonna say goodnight. Jason's a little worried about, they have two new kittens. So, hopefully, he d he's already taken allergy meds this morning, and I, he's bringing a Benadryl with him <laughs> to take at their house in an hour. So, wish him luck, and we'll have a good time. And we'll talk to you guys either later tonight or next time. It needs to be documented. You can't show Jason he's in his skivvies. But I won. I won the Kraken back. Unfortunately, the person who has the Kraken was not there tonight, if you're wondering. We play Skull King. And we have a Kraken pin. Because the Kraken blows the whole game up. I blew the whole game up. I won. And that was really fun. So... <laughs> 
It is 11.30, we are home. <clears throat> Abby made brownies. It's always so funny because she makes brownies and then she doesn't eat them. I had intentions of eating them. You can see that bowl and the spatula right there. I did not, I did not eat them. So I'm gonna go to bed. Um, I am gonna try and go on a walk tomorrow if I can have a little window of no rain or misty rain. I might go walking in the rain tomorrow because what I really wanna do is come home take a hot shower and cuddle up in sweats and just I don't have anywhere to go except it's an interesting reason why that sounds kind of odd for tomorrow I'll tell you what is special about tomorrow take a guess if you know what's special about tomorrow um, it is the 24th of August I don't think anyone's gonna guess but leave your answers down below if you know what that date is for us, for me, whatever. And um, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, take care, good night. Maybe I need a break. Maybe that's why I fade into this bitter taste. I think I'll let it be.